So in different repository, uh, development team start uh, another version their application for the microservice pattern. So I write a microservice architecture in our problem. It's our e-commerce. So we develop some another uh, application uh, segregated or fatty application in some single repository service that is stock management shipment email service sms service notification service register service and more and more service but you see you right every uh, so our one application is now uh, converted in one two three four seven application or more application so, okay so how can the process is done up to after complete payment before the checkout part from the beginning to checkout part every process is not to need to break down but after payment is completed so uh, at main application sent request stock management application to update the stock but not wait for it okay when the application is wait for the response then application is uh, response time is higher and higher okay so send a request for sms application uh, you type you create application in any any type of language your main application is .NET core your sms application is python and notification application to go using golang email application uh, some team writing in java no that's a not a factor okay but you send request for sms application not wait can because uh, you no need to wait for sms application to understand is it completed sending message or is uh, is it completed uh, sending notification no need but you send uh, both uh, all the application request to complete their process and and you complete the uh, order and response uh, get uh, provide response to the customer okay so now we break down our application but one pain factory how can we send request from one application to another okay we can easily done we know a very simplistic uh, pattern is send uh, uh, request and response request for another application is http request but is a not a good practice because <clears throat> Because here I show you how to send request A to B, application A or application B, option 1, HTTP request. But the problem is if we send HTTP request, then request wait for response is not good solution. Option 2, message broker. A program that translate a message to a formal messaging protocol of the sender, the format message protocol of the receiver so message broker is you send a request from uh, request from your receiver application but not wait uh, wait for it okay so someone that is the message broker it first get the request from the sender application and it and it uh, and it, the application know who is uh, waiting for response okay so then it send the request to the receiver application okay so we and we don't need to know who is uh, service b we don't need to know service b service c service d where it present don't need to know uh, about it so message broker only know where the uh, when the request is come and who is waiting for this type of request and send the request for this type of application so message broker is the perfect solution for this type of problem okay so what is the message broker a message broker act as a middleman so uh, previous section i am showing you uh, we send a request uh, from our application to a middleman application okay a message broker acts as a middleman for various service web application as is the example they can be used to reduce load and delivery time of web application server by delegating tasks that would normally take up a lot of time or resource that a third party that has no other job okay so it's theoretical don't need to understand completely uh, our scenario is 
publisher that means sender application and consumer that means receiver application okay so in message broker you use any type of message broker uh, so i am now here we i am using rabbitmq we can use amazon amazon use bar uh, amazon bus or uh, apache kafka any type of use uh, all the message broker is architecture is same okay so we send a request from the broker uh, from our application to broker that is called publish and uh, in message broker someone is listening for response okay so that is called consumer okay there is consume or subscribe for this message so is the main uh, i think you can understand now why the message broker is needed in microservice application or architecture and today's world you see more and more technologies developed uh, so if you think about the facebook uh, uh, within uh, one or two years before uh, facebook uh, main website written in php but you upload an image and you see uh, everyone's uh, your friend name showing there for tagging in this image but it's not done by php who done this job another application that is a python you know the image any type of image processing python is the best uh, solution for image processing type of job so you see the php application send the request to python application to process the image how can they send the information using the message broker okay so message broker is the best solution for microservice architecture to send request and get response from two different application without the http request because http request is very costly request and all time the request uh, portal uh, request is waiting for their response so i think you can now understand why message broker is needed and why we use rabbitmq in our application okay bye bye